Um, and then, if the lock is decayed, okay, you see there are many cracks, okay. It's like it's like uh, the when you uh, check the condition of the wood, it uh, wear off easily. So that's a time to transfer the colony into a new box. Okay, new box. I will show you. And also, if the weather is too hot, uh, put more shrub. Shrub, you in, uh, netting, you use netting. The netting canvas that they use for agriculture. The black, black netting. Uh, and also from the yield. Yield, if you notice, after 40 days, it become less, less and lesser. So it's a it's, it's, it's a time to do or uh, put some action, okay. Uh, other than swapping, what you can do, you transfer into another location with uh, much better, okay, uh, surrounding environment. Uh, much, okay, that's another way. That's around what time? Pardon? Around what time? Transfer yeah. night. Because they all stay in the hive uh, in, in at night. They are not, they, they 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 only active during the morning and until dusk. They don't, don't, don't night. They don't act, night, night night active. Make sure that you leave some. Don't harvest everything. Okay. Do not harvest during the monsoon like this time around. Okay. You can harvest but not too much. Okay. You can harvest but not too much. So. Like for example, those video show, can you put more shroud, okay, on the top and netting, okay, netting on the sides, okay. Uh, this is especially uh, the farm that don't have uh, enough uh, canopy. Canopy is not enough, especially uh, place where they still have uh, growing trees, okay. So you have to. But put some action like this now. You have to put more shr uh, shroud and uh, uh, modify a bit. Okay. And also you can use them cloth. Okay. So uh, resin. Okay, resin. Like I told you, that now is one of the main uh, uh, ingredient or resources that singles be collect. Okay, is basically a hydrocarbon secretion of many plant. Okay. Uh, there are many type, basically many type of trees that produce uh, resin. Okay. So the, the, this resin, okay, resin, okay, can be made like for rubber tree. They made into rubber. Okay, like other they use uh, convert in in industry lah. They create into varnish, adhesive and food glazing agents. But this is basically what the singles bee collect. Okay, they collect. Uh, as a mixture for for their propolis okay so resin you have to identify enough resin in your place okay in your surrounding like itama itama is, uh, in malaysia very suitable if they keep it in a rubber plantation okay nectar nectar is a source that they they use to okay make honey okay Nectar come from plants. Uh, maybe we commonly know that they come from flower, but they also come from the buds, tree buds. Okay, they do the tree bud also excrete the nectar, especially acacia. Okay, on the tree buds, they in early in the morning, they they will uh, excrete some nectar. Okay. Ants very like it and also stingless bee. Pollen, also important. The main component to produce the bee bread. I think you guys found the bee bread. That so those are the bee bread. So basically, those are pollen. They, ha, you know, stingless bee pick the pollen, put it on the back, leg, okay, carry, and then store in the pot. So those are the bee bread high in protein. Ah, uh, they they are good. Uh, especially for people who want to gain more weight, uh, the, uh, it's also a, a byproduct. Uh, process, dry up, turn into powder, 
and then you can uh, consume in the morning with bread and toast. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Uh, B1 tail. Is it true that it has three stomach? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very, basically very complex. Lah. The, the body is very complex. And that's what I've studied, I found. They are comparable to a sugar refinery. A B is a is comparable to the sugar refinery. You imagine a sugar refinery. Mm -hmm. You bring the cane, process the cane, water, whatever, process sugar. They are like a micro factory. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know exact how many part, but they are very complex. Are, uh, God make them like that. That's the miracle. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I saw it. There are three. One for air, one for food, and one for honey. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. And also water is very important. Uh, enough water uh, uh, to uh, for the hive. Okay, you need to uh, make sure that the environment have enough water. Okay. So these are the list of uh, plant. Okay, plant in in local uh, Malaysia. Okay, like for example, acacia. Acacia, okay, it's a name. The local name is acacia. The tall tree, big tree, can grow easily. And acacia is not non-native tree. This means that they are not original tree in Malaysia. They was they were brought here. Uh, they was brought uh, originally for timber uh, matches. But now matches is gone. But now they discover that acacia produce a very good for honey farm. Okay, so they have good pro uh, uh, producer or supply of nectar, pollen, and resin. Okay. Other than that, uh, like this Billy Goat weed, okay, spiny uh, amaranth, the shrubs. Okay, they are good for pollen. Pineapple. The pro, uh, source of nectar and pollen, and this one, uh, Mexican creeper. Uh, this is climbing shrubs, so this is also a good source of nectar, pollen, and resin. So you can plant. And other that like coconut, coconut is a good uh, source of nectar and resin. So this is there for example the uh, Mexican creepers. Uh, Mexican creepers, okay, they are. Uh, Purple, uh, pink, and white. The rule of thumb. This is it is also important. Per hectare, uh, one hundred uh, meter square. So it's good to to place uh, fifteen to twenty colonies. It with the, you know, consistent distance lah, between the between the hive. Okay, but placement also depend on the shroud or the. Uh, condition of the area not to open okay but 15 to 20 colony okay and if 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 you count in the area there, there are three 10 acacia 10 acacia tree big tree they are enough so basically a good source for one hive one hive so if they one one place have thousand of acacia tree so you can do the math lah you can put uh, more than 20 if you have like 1000 or 10000 acacia tree they grow very easy very fast very easy okay and if you plant this two the mexican creeper it will usually take to 2 to 3 months to reach maturity maybe if you thinking of to have a hive you want to set up the farm okay maybe you plant this tree first let it settle down, let it flourish for two, after 2-3 two, months and then you bring your hive. 